Hi everybody, TJ Mac Vintage Cards here, and today I'm doing a video um, first where I want to talk about what goes into your card purchases. Are you somebody who's impulsive, that just um, is on eBay one night, you see a card you like and buy it, or if you're watching a YouTube video, you um, see somebody show off a cool card and then you go right to eBay or somewhere else to buy a copy of that card? Or are you somebody that's more um, disciplined in your approach? You do some research, you um, you know have a spreadsheet or some way of uh, planning that um, important purchase that you're looking to make. Now for me, I certainly fall into that latter category. I don't collect a lot of um, cards. I'm not really somebody who's an accumulator. I've talked about that in other videos. I take my time with my purchases. I have a spreadsheet all laid out. I have the core of my collection, which are my key card runs um, from the 50s and the 80s to the 80s in um, baseball, hockey, and football. That's the core of my collection. That's all starting to wind down now. I'm done with baseball pretty much almost. And uh, football, I'm down to less than 10. Hockey, I have a few more to get, but even that's um, coming to an end. And hockey is not 50s to 80s. It's uh, 68 to 85, where I collect uh, 18 key cards from each year. So now I'm starting to expand. I um, have done my 50s, uh, 53 to 63 uh, hockey, vintage hockey case build, where I have a lot of videos out on that. That's almost wrapping up too. I only need a few more to finish that. So now I'm really just kind of looking into other types of purchases. Through these videos, I showed the Lyle Alzado cards I bought. Um, I got some other cards that I'm gonna show off today that, I, that I've purchased. And I'm just kind of going in the direction now where I'm just finding cards that I really like, that I connect with, either I've watched like uh, NFL films um, videos or documentaries or read books or just um, a card looks really nice to me and it's something I want to display in my room. So that's kind of the direction I'm going in right now and I just want to get your thoughts of what goes into your purchases. Are you like really planned like, like I am where I'm, I'm really not ever impulsive with my purchases? everything's pretty planned out or are you somebody that just kind of uh, purchases based on the mood you're in or or um, you know tend to be a little more impulsive so if you could share that in the comments I'd be really interested to hear that so with that now let me do a couple shout outs and the first one I'm gonna do is James Elite Hunters um, I really like James as a person first of all I enjoy commenting back and forth with him He's a, a really a great uh, contributor in this community. Really enjoy his uh, videos. My favorite videos hit of his is when he did the boxing one not too long ago and he showed off his different boxing cards. I don't collect boxing, so I really enjoyed watching that and learning about some of the uh, boxers that he showed. And I did have the connection with Mike Tyson because I grew up watching Mike Tyson and we had a little bit back and forth conversation on that. And the Jack Dempsey was interesting, too, because my grandfather got Jack Dempsey's autograph uh, when he was younger, which was really neat. And um, I believe he got it from his restaurant in New York. So um, that was just a nice connection that I, I got through James' video. So I'll share the link to that video below. And James is also a big Mickey Mantle fan like I am, Yankees fan. He grew up like a Reggie Jackson like I did. So we have a lot in common, and I really do enjoy our back and forth uh, through the YouTube community. So, James, uh, thank you for all you do. And the last thing I, I'm gonna say about him is he has a 52 Tops Mantle, which is really cool. I love when collectors get their dream cards. That's um, something that really I find um, exciting for me too because it's great because we all um, pull for our fellow collectors and it's really nice when they get um, cards added to their collection, especially those ones that are so iconic, like that 52 Tops Mantle. So uh, great uh, addition to your collection, James, and that's going to be one you'll have for uh, a lifetime, I'm sure. So, so good work with that. Um, now let me just go to the first card I'm going to show today. And it's this Ken Anderson here. And the reason why I'm showing this card is because this is going to lead to a, another shout-out for Tony Black. And Tony's a, he's a TTM guy. I got connected to him through Muskoka Card Collector, which I'll put his link below too and again you know everybody's probably subscribed to these channels because they have more subscribers than I have but I just want to bring them up because Muskoka is a great contributor to this community as well and um, he did a video um, recognizing my channel and Tony I believe subscribed from that video so just 
is how you make these connections in the community is what I really want to highlight. And um, I like Tony's videos. He does the TTMs, uh, which are, stands for Through the Mail, which are great. And he did one on this card here, this Ken Anderson. And I don't ever remember seeing this card until I saw the video. And I was a 70s card collector. And I saw this card, and I'm like, I just got to have a copy of this card. So I went out, and it took me a little while. And again, I planned it, and I found one that I really liked, and I purchased it. And the reason why I like this card is this is when they weren't airbrushing the, uh, or when they were airbrushing the logos, I mean. And it looks like the Browns are playing the Browns almost here. Let me take a quick glance. But of course, this is Ken Anderson, the quarterback for the Bengals here. And um, you can just, um, you know, see it here, and it's it just... It's very interesting to me that the that the uh, Bengals uniforms kind of look like the Browns uniform on the card because of the removal of the uh, logos. So I think that's kind of a cool little touch to this card, um, in addition to it being a really uh, cool action shot as well. So I was looking for, to add a Ken Anderson. I want to get his rookie at some point because, uh, again, I'm kind of getting out of the key cards now because I'm pretty much done with it, and I just want to get some other cards of players that um, I had a lot of interest and admiration for um, and growing up and I just wanted to add this one so that's the Ken Anderson and then this is just another example of the connection through the cards I when I was doing my um, my hockey case build as I'm working on that I got a Gump Worsley card and I did a lot of reading up on him and I just became a great admirer of uh, Gump so I picked up this card and I thought, wow, it'd be really cool to add another um, card with him in the North Stars uniform. I have the 72 tops, but I really like the 70 tops. I'm not going to get another North Stars one of them, but I wanted to add this one because it really shows off his uh, sweater real well with the North Stars logo. And um, I just remember my brother was a fan of the North Stars. He liked Mike Madonna, and I remember him having a North Stars jersey. So I just make that connection. I think of him with that jersey when I see this card. Of uh, Gump here and I also just uh, like the great characters of the game so always good to add him to my collection and then this is one I've had for a while this is from my key card run for 75 tops but it kind of goes with the theme of what I'm doing today and it's not always every year I buy these cards that I have to get all the Hall of Famers uh, I've mentioned in other videos that I'm a huge Steve Garvey fan growing up so he has to be in my 30 key cards um, he was uh, a key player of the 1970s on the great Dodgers teams that went to the World Series and there's no way that I wasn't going to do um, include him in any key card run that I did so I um, added his cards and that would be at the expense of maybe guys like um, Ted Simmons who was a fine player also and Jim Rice and guys like that but Garvey's the one that um, I really have the connection to growing up that I wanted to add into this collection. So um, that's why I included him in here, just to kind of show you another example of that. And this is just a, a really nice looking car too. Great pose of uh, Garvey um, with the Dodgers. I like that font on the top. And then I really enjoy the colors of the 75 top set. And then this next one, I don't collect um, this time per se my 30 key card run for baseball is 56 to 89 but I um, really like some of the cards from this year I wasn't going to spend the money to get the Robinson or even the Snyder from this set I wanted an example of a Dodgers from this set from my display case and I like this one I have the Jackie Robinson from 56 I have plenty of Duke Snyder cards but I wanted to add this 55 tops this is the year the Dodgers won the World Series I really like this logo um, Great image in the back, the yellow coloring. I think this uh, example uh, presents very well. You got the B on the, the Brooklyn hat up there. Great registration on this card. I'm a fan of the facsimile autographs. So card shows overall very nicely and it was a great addition to my case. And then these last two down here. This is the uh, 87 Donruss Kirby Puckett. Uh, I'm working on the 30 key cards from this set. Uh, the reason why is because this was when I got back into collecting when I was 12 after a few years off I jumped right into getting this card or this set. I'm sorry uh, by ripping packs at the store and um, I built it over time. I had one that I bought but I wanted to build one through packs. So I remember my riding my bike up um, just building this uh, set pack by pack and I just had a blast doing it. So it's a set that really connects and resonates with me. I have, I want to get the 30 key cards from this set. I have 18 of them so far. I need 12 more. 
this is the one that I wanted to, sh to represent this video for because I just uh, really like this image of a smiling Kirby Puckett. And he's a guy that um, I really uh, thought a lot of when he played. He played the game with a lot of enthusiasm. And he was just a, a great playoff performer as well. So a lot of respect for Kirby and just wanted to show this card. And I'm happy to say the other um, set that I'm working on uh, for key cards from the 80s, besides the tops issues from 80 to 89, is this 84 Donruss set. And I've showed these cards off here and there in videos past as I've acquired them. Well, this is the last one I needed. I have the 30 key cards for 84 Donruss. Can't wait to put it in my display case, but first I'm going to show it off in a future video before I do that. And just real excited to add this Rod Carew. And uh, I think it's a great image of him as well. Nice smiling Rod Carew on the Angels. I preferred him on the Twins just because that's how I really remember him. But, um, but just a great image of him on the Angels. So happy to add this one and finish that 30 card run. Um, and what I've done, I had like uh, 80s flares and Donruss cards. I sold all of them off. I just want to do the 87 and the 84 and then my 80 to 89 Topps Baseball. So I've really downsized portions of my collection and just um, sold them when the when the market was, I think, pretty good. It still is pretty good. And then I went ahead and turned those purchases into some other cards that I really wanted, and including some of these in this uh, video here. And I'm going to continue to do that. I don't have uh, very much left that I want to sell. I've got my collection to where I want it. And then I'm just going to kind of uh, pick and choose from here what I want to add to enhance from, from there, there forward. Everybody have a great day, and we'll talk soon.